hello welcome to my channel and today this is the spread I've been making and as usual it's it was quite a chaotic uh, <laughs> process uh, but that's how I roll you know so I'm very intuitive when I'm working I don't know what I'm gonna do next so and I'm quite fast also so this is the outcome and I hope you liked it and I actually made some um, uh, tissue paper I took some white, white tissue paper and I stamped on them and I drew, drew some faces with hats because that's my newest obsession <laughs> I want to draw faces with hats uh, girls with hats so I wanted to use this as a background kind of and I'm just adding it with my transparent gesso, my homemade, you know. And here's another girl with a hat. And it's quite, I don't know, I think it's quite difficult to, to draw the hats well but I'm, I'm practicing so it is what it is like I say <laughs> and now I'm gonna use a stencil from Tim Holtz with some dots and I'm gonna use it with my modeling paste just on random places and of course I have tried it and now I'm going to use my, uh, what is that, uh, it's Nouveau powder, uh, what's the name, the Violet Brocade, yeah, so that's really nice because when you add water to it, uh, it's a lot of different colors, so it's pink and purple and some blue, and I like it, though I don't use, use them very often because, I don't know, I don't think I can have, I feel that I don't have much control over where the paint, <laughs> where I can add the paint, so it's a bit hard maybe for me, I don't know, I'm not that used to them, but um, I also use some blue powder from Finnebear and I don't know what they're called and the nuance doesn't have a name on it. Here, so I can't tell you um, also I wanted to add some more some more light blue on the upper corner and now the spread looks very chaotic and I felt I wanted to use something else today so I'm gonna use my alcohol inks to color the hats I rarely use my alcohol inks because I'm not really good at them yet. I have to practice more to make the nice effects with them. But I thought why not to use them today a bit. And now I'm going to use some, I'm going to punch out some of my scribblings uh, from another project, from another Just Play. And I used them on the other uh, project I made also, but I have some left and I wanted to use them here because the colors will match, I think. I end up not using the blue one. And I feel I want some white gesso on some places to brighten it up. And 
And now I'm going to add the circles. Just randomly. Not that one. <laughs> And I'm just gonna color the girl's eyes and the mouth and um, yeah, the hair a bit also. And now I'm using my black ink tense pen for some shading. But I really feel this girl <laughs> looks a bit, I don't know, almost evil. She looks kind of, I don't know, angry and I don't like her. So I'm just gonna work some more on her face, make it not that thin and the eyes look... I'm using my white Posca just to correct her a bit. <laughs> But I really love the other girl, but she has her eyes closed. And now I'm using another stencil from Tim Holtz and I'm going to use it with Distress Ink. And yet another stencil and I'm not <laughs> sure what I'm doing here I'm just doing stuff as usual not knowing how to I don't know how to make it better because I'm not really in love with it as of now but I'm using my Posca pens to draw some circles with hot pink here and I'm also going to use a um, it's a Pilot Pintor pen, light purple, and also my white Posca pen. Soon, <laughs> I'm ahead of myself here. And here's the white Posca, which I love. And some splatters with it also and here are some flowers that I have cut out I'm not sure where they are from it's uh, I know it's a Polish brand and now I'm adding some um, what's that called uh, some you know bling bling <laughs> bling stones on the girl's hat and on the flowers, on the circle flowers. And I have fussy cut a lot of the tiny cute pink flowers and I want to add them to the hats. And also some other stickers that I have, have, I have had for a long time and never used them. And they are kind of 3D and glittery. And I think it'll fit here. And some more shading. I'm just adding water to the ink tents on some places. And now I'm using my homemade stamps again. I really love them. I made them out of craft foam. And I, I like them. I think they're decorative. And this also. And now 
down just um, kind of you know darkening the edges of the spread with my silky twister crayon now I have some stickers it's from a stickers pad uh, from Panduro my workplace I don't think they have them anymore but uh, I really love it but I haven't used a lot of them so it's a lot of fun little stickers that I just add randomly over the pages the girl on the left she says you look real good <laughs> and the uh, other girl with the eyes closed she she doesn't say anything but she has a heart that says sweet besides her and now I want to add some yellow just because it was yellow in one of the stickers and I liked it so I'm just adding it with uh, let's see what pen is that it's an adding marker so this is the outcome and I actually love it I didn't think I would because it was a messy process and I didn't know what to do or where to go but I actually love uh, the, um, the chaotic style of it And I enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoyed watching please leave a like if you did or a comment or both <laughs> and you could subscribe if you want to because I put out a lot of videos with my art journaling nowadays and almost each day actually so thank you for watching stay safe bye